how can moral imagination have a positive, constructive influence? Well, again, I'm going to give a case, an example of, uh, as you probably know, in the uh, restaurant business, uh, what the wait staff often doesn't show up. So usually you only have half. So often people hire twice as many people because half of them don't show up. And so that looks like a pretty bad thing. And the second piece of, of, of uh, the restaurant business is you try not to hire people who are convicted felons or who look scruffy or who dirty and, and who aren't well trained. And there's, notice there's a mindset for that. But, if, but there's a woman in Detroit who thought out of the box and realized that she could offer an employment agency which would provide waitstaff, first for restaurants and then for conventions and now for school lunches. And she brings in her neighbors, all of whom are unemployed, on welfare. Some have been convicted on minor drug charges. She doesn't do murderers, obviously, or, or people who steal. Uh, and, and she trains these people, she shapes them up, cleans them up, and sends them out. And she's been extraordinarily successful because she thought out of the box, she thought differently about them, but she also realized they're individuals who need jobs and can do work. And uh, it's been an a extremely successful operation, but because she didn't take the standard models for restauranting and for serving, and, and she thought about her neighbors, and people on welfare much differently than most of us do.